I'm working on my 100 day project and I'm doing whimsical flowers with um, some brand new paint that I just picked up. I picked up um, bright magenta, just apple barrel. That's all they had. They didn't have, I wanted folk art, but they didn't have any. And Tuscan, Tuscany teal, just really pretty colors. And then um, I added some other pinks and some burnt umber. So what I'm going to do now is I have a bunch of Maggie Holmes um, Chasing Dreams and Bloom paper packs. I have tons of scraps, so I'm going to get ready. This is going to dry a little bit, so I'm going to dry it, and I'm going to decoupage um, um, these little pieces of paper into my flower. And kind of, I'm kind of doing a whimsical 3D flower kind of, mixed media flower, just something fun. Oh, I'm dreaming of spring, even though we had snowstorm here today, and the wind is crazy. So I'm just drying these a little bit. It's a different angle because I wasn't planning on coming on um, live, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to hit play or hit record, and I'll just share it to my page, and you guys can just see a little glimpse of into my craft room, into my me creating my projects and um, and whatnot. So right now we're at my, this is my workspace and it's a little messy um, because I'm supposed to be cleaning. <laughs> but guess what? I'm not cleaning, I am creating today. My paint is still a little wet, but as long as I put the paper down and not touch it, it should be okay. And I'm, I'm not worried about perfection. So, going to find my brush that I use for my Mod Podge. And um, I'm almost out of Mod Podge. And we don't live anywhere as close to Mike. Well, we do, but we didn't want to drive that far <laughs> to Michael's. So I bought just regular Mod Podge from Walmart. I like this one. This one lasts me oh, a long time. So, um... And this one, as clearly as you can tell, is almost empty. So, let's see. I want this one. So, I'm going to put some glue on the back of this because my paint is still wet. So, I'm just going to put some glue on the back and try not to touch this. So, as you can tell, I am going to just lay this down onto the flower and it's going to mimic a flower petal. See that? Basically I'm adding dimension in there to um, once this dries I'll go back in with some Mod Podge. Um, add some dimension with some paper scraps. And um, normally I would cover this right over with Mod Podge but if I do it right now the paint's going to smear and it's going to be a mess. So just do the back and add that layer on. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do the leaves since <clears throat> that's still kind of wet. And this is just super fun. I wanted something different for today. Today, uh, today's Sunday, and I wanted something a little different um, for my art journal page, and I just decided to, because I've been cleaning, I'm finding paper, <laughs> ah, and the, my, my leaves are dry, so I'm going to go ahead and cover right over those leaves with the Mod Podge because my leaves are dry, well, somewhat dry. Okay. This is so therapeutic. I love to Mod Podge, I mean to decoupage. I love it. It's so relaxing. And I'm not worried about full coverage because this is just an art journal page. If I was putting this on a canvas or whatnot, then yeah, 
definitely would be a little bit more careful. Um, where I put everything. And I don't have a big leaf right there or a big piece of paper. I just put a small piece of paper. That's okay because we're going to paint around it. So. Okay. Let, oh, we need one more for that big old leaf. Did I run out of leaves? I did. So we're going to find another leaf. Have some coffee. Let's see. I don't know if I have any more of that paper. This is like Chasing Dreams from Maggie Home. I keep all my scraps. I am a scrap keeper for sure. Because you just never know <laughs> when you're going to need some paper. All right. I'm not sure if I have. Oh, I got this one. That would be pretty. And this marbled would be pretty. Oh, and actually, this pink would be pretty in there too. All right, I got some more papers. So what are you guys doing on this Sunday afternoon? Um, I wasn't feeling good today, so we did not go to church. Um, and our church is still kind of like in limbo with going or not going type of thing. So I said with having a migraine yesterday and... I just said, we just decided to stay home just out of safety. So, and I was exhausted. I got this right on the crease. So I'm just trying to get a good adhere seal on that. Okay. And if it's not perfect seal, I'm not worried about it. All right, let's see. Oh, I like that. I need to find some free music and put some music in the background. My Mod Podge is getting very low, so I'm starting to get the little yuckies from the bottom of the bottom. Oh, it is snowing out right now, and it's so pretty. I wish you could Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Can you see it? I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think you can in, in the window. Make sure I didn't knock you off. Okay. I need one more green. Oh, actually, I was going to use the marble. You don't have to put green in your leaf. Um, I just thought it would be kind of nice to have green in your leaf. And this is going to go off the page. I'm not worried about it. I'll cut it off after we're done. All right, got the leaves done, so let's move on to my our flowers. And let's see. Let's add a small one. It's all about getting the right curvage, curvage of the, is that a word? Curvage of the paper going around the flower. And I'm, I'm overthinking this already. It's only supposed to be like a 15 minute project. That's only for me. I only say 15 minutes 
that's just for me um, because I could spend hours doing this and I don't want to spend hours. I've got things to do. I mean, I would love to spend hours, but um, I don't need to spend hours. Oop, that wasn't dry. But that's right. We're going to go over it with paint, too. I'm going to hit this with some heat. It is snowing out. So pretty. It's almost like a snow globe. But this is called sugar snow. It's not going to stay. Yay! It's not going to stay. I'm over winter. I am so over winter. All right, grab my stool. I hope you guys like this little impromptu video. Um, it's not a video where you need to see me, so. Okay. It's more about seeing the project. Let me push this down here a little bit so you guys can see it. All right. And sometimes I think it's fun just to um, share the simple process. You know, it's not a workshop. It's not a, you know, do this, you know, like me or whatever. It's just a simple, simple craft along with me. So, and I like that a lot. Put that one there. I'm gonna have to go with some more paper. And I'm not going for full coverage on the paper. I just want a hint of it. So, um, all right, let's see what we got for paper here. Here's a different one that might be fun. And, you know, the more organic you can be. Whoop, I just picked up paint. Um, with your tearing, like don't try, don't try to be perfect with your tearing to make your petals. Uh, yeah, that does not need to be. <laughs> so. We'll put that one there, and I think that will be good. I need one more little one on this tiny one over here. And that will be good. Getting a little bit of paint on the paper, but that's okay. Whew. Back when I was growing up, we used to call what's happening right now outside we used to call these snake squirrels, squalls, you know, when the wind, it's like a little tornado. And uh, that's what's happening outside today. It is definitely stormy weather. It's storming here in Lancaster. You can go up over the mountain, go up over the little hill mountain there, the Prospect Mountain, and it might not be doing anything. That's what the funny part is. So funny. All right. One more little piece, and I think we're done with the flowers. Because we're going to add paint. Whoops. We're going to add paint as well.
to the flower to the flowers I got a piece of paper stuck on there so um I'll show you all right this is what I got so far be kind of fun to show you my process this is what I got so far kind of fun I'm gonna try not to cover now what I'm gonna do because normally I would spend a lot more time on my layers and build them up thicker and thicker and thicker but again this is like a 15 minute project for myself it's only been a half hour so I've got to keep going um, so I'm gonna dry these a little bit and then we're gonna add in some more paint Actually, why these dry, we probably could um, put the background in. And I think for the background, we're going to do a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. i got to turn my, my cart around to grab some yellow. West, maybe maybe Key West in yellow for for a whimsical background. Okay. Now you won't be able to stay on here for the whole time with me because I'm gonna try to it's already at 17 minutes. So I am going to probably stop this video. And um, uh, finish my project page, but this will be fun. Maybe I'll start doing this a little bit and just do little sneak peeks and um, of the, my process. And uh, these whim whimsical flowers remind me of Mara Inglebright. I just love her style, and I love all the beautiful bright colors. I am not a bright color person, but for some reason this spring I'm really drawn to the bright colors. I am I am not a bright person. I am a muted white pastel kind of person, but for some reason this spring I am so drawn to the really beautiful beautiful um bright colors. And I think cuz 2020 2020 has been a very hard year for me. Um so 2021 needs to be brighter and happier and better. And I have to make that happen. No one else is going to make it happen for me. Only me. And um, just keep praying that it'll be a beautiful year. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry these flowers. I'm going to put the background in, which is going to be just these two colors. Um, this is a Key West and a Pale Daffodil. And I'm going to put this in. I'm going to... Um, Put this in and then I'm going to add just splashes of white or uh, yellow and we'll just see how that goes. It may get covered up. <laughs> so, but you'll see the page, the finished page later on today. So thanks for joining me.